or like the Great Falls is the bedrock of my life, eroding beneath me. Today, the Bible is often accused of giving answers that don't add up to reality as we know it. It just doesn't make sense. Many Christian students have been told that evolution gives answers that do make sense. Is this really true? Evolution, Morpheus. Evolutionary geology says that, on the average, geological processes such as erosion and mountain building have always taken place at the same rate as we see them happening today. Explain. However, if we take the volume of the world's continents and divide it by the known rate of continental erosion, we find that it should only take 14 million years to erode the continents down to sea level. Eroding! We are also told that the last mountain building activity took place about 65 million years ago. So if evolutionary geology is correct, the continent should have long ago been worn down to sea level. Well, that's weird. Evolutionary biologists tell us that the first modern woman lived about 200,000 years ago. At an average of three children per family, the current world average is four, the world's population should have reached 3.5 billion in only 4,000 years. That's... A lot. In fact, the world's population reached that figure only within recent centuries. Yes, wars and disease accounted for more losses in the past, but this fact does not explain this huge error. More examples could be mentioned. The truth is, the facts don't add up to evolution. They do support the Bible's view of history. Explanations that deny the Creator just don't add up.